Hello and welcome back everyone to the next episode on anubhavtrainings.com. Today's topic on SAP BTP is how do you solve the invalid grant or user authentication failed issue in BTP account. Many of you are facing this common problem. You have just created a fresh SAP BTP account and now you're trying to log in to your SAP BTP Cloud Foundry account or BAS Studio right away after creating a fresh account with a password. You will be wondering why is your password which you just provided, just created a fresh account is not working anymore. What has gone wrong? So let me show you the reason behind that and how do you solve the problem. If you feel this video is going to help you, please hit the like button. Share this video with your colleagues who are also facing a similar issue in the BTP account while logging to their Cloud Foundry environment. So the reason why it happens is due to the different login screen and login mechanisms which the same BTP account does use. So usually when you create a fresh BTP account, you get the very first screen as SAP ID service screen. This ID service screen is very different from the screen which you get it when you try to log into BAS account or Cloud Foundry environment. This screen is the universal ID screen where you need to log in. So initially when you create your first account with SAP and your first BTP account, you can use the password which you have given in the first go. So let me try to provide my credentials and password. So I will enter my credentials which will work on this screen without any problem. So let me just log in and you can see it's called universal ID screen. So here your credentials will work and it will allow you to get in into your SAP BTP account. But when you use the same credentials to log into Cloud Foundry, it is not going to work. Yes, whether you're using Cloud Foundry login with your VS Code tool or BAS tool, that will create a problem. In fact, the same issue comes when you try to log into BAS tool. If you click the BAS tool, you will see this kind of a login screen. Now, this login screen is very different from the earlier login screen, right? You can notice that in the earlier login screen, first there was an email. On the next button is when we get the option for password. Whereas on this screen, the email and password are coming on the same page. Basically, these are two different login screens, guys. And that's the reason you are facing the password problem. The same will happen if you open command prompt and you're trying to do CF login. This you may be doing from even the BAS tool, it will happen. So if you come inside, the email ID will be same, but when you use the same password, it will give you invalid grant. So let me try to log in my email and I will enter the same password which I was just showing you all, yes you will see it will give me an error. Invalid grant, yeah, invalid grant, user authentication failed. I'm using the same password, which I just used to log into my BTP account, but still I'm getting this issue. Yes, because of the different login screens or login mechanisms, which it uses. That's why it happens. So to solve this problem, it's very simple. You have to just reset your password once. To be able to do that, I will show you the workaround or the option. The option number one is directly you can open the BAS Studio, come to this screen, click on forget password, enter your email ID and it will send an email to reset your password. Give the password as same as the password which you gave on the first BTP login screen. Option number two, if you're using the Cloud Foundry plugin to login, you're getting this then you can also do CF login dash dash SSO enter and now you're going to get a link to launch the authentication so you see temporary authentication code from this link so just click this link control click this link it launch this temporary authentication window and you can go to default IDP and here you click on forget password. Enter your mail ID 
and trigger the mail for resetting your password. You will receive an email from SAP to reset your password. Yes, and by choosing that email to reset your password, eventually you will be able to get the reset done. Yes. So there is a new email which will come to you uh, uh, where it will show you a SAP ID service to actually reset your password. So let me show you the, what kind of email that would be you will be getting. So you will be getting actually an email like this where it says that you can reset your password like this. So this is the email you will be receiving directly from SAP. You have to have to reset your password. You can keep the password same as the password which you gave initially very first time on creating your fresh BTP account. So eventually both the login screens now will have the same password. And then afterwards you can head over back after resetting your password. Control C here on Cloud Foundry plugin screen and do C of login again. This time you can enter your new password which you have reset of course which is which is the same password which you gave at the beginning because I've reset it the same and I log in this time and after the reset you see it has worked. So this is how you solve the problem either you are connecting to bash tool or you are trying to log in using CF login command inside the bash tool or VS code tool or local machine you're getting password authentication issue please go to the SSO option, open the login screen, go for forget password, reset your password, keep the password same as the very first password you gave on BTP account. After the reset, you can come back, log in, it will work beautifully without an issue. If this solved your problem, please like, share and subscribe this video. And also don't forget to subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon. So you will get notification for more free videos like this. I hope to see you in my next video. Thank you so much. Goodbye.